hi guys welcome back to another video i am doing a sunflower themed cake today i am starting off with six inch vanilla cake rounds with my buttercream frosting and i'm just making sure each layer has a nice amount of frosting in between Okay, now that I'm done stacking, I can start on my crumb coat. And the crumb coat is just a thin layer just to seal in the crumbs. I'm finishing up with my crumb coat and then I'm placing this into the refrigerator for it to chill for about maybe 10 minutes and then I can work back on the final frosting. Okay, now that my cake is back out, we can start on the frosting. I have my buttercream tinted into a light blue color. And I didn't have it mixed in all the way, so there is going to be spots of white in there as well also. And this will just be my sky for the cake. I'm using my cake scraper just to smooth out the sides and then once I'm done I place this back into the freezer for it to chill for about 10 to 15 minutes and that way it's a lot easier for me to paint on my buttercream. Okay and on to decorating I decided to paint on my clouds. I am using just a small paintbrush with just a dab of small buttercream and I'm just repeating the process just to make it look like clouds on my cake. And then I'm going to start on the bottom. I am using a smaller paintbrush with some green color gel just to pipe on some grass and stems. And today I decided to do a sunflower cake just because it's fall season and there are sunflowers everywhere. People are going to take tons of pictures of it so I thought today would be the perfect theme for it.
Now I'm using a small flat paintbrush just to color in some flowers and I'm also using a color gel for this. This is color yellow that I'm using. And now I'm just filling in the middle of each of my sunflower. And then once I'm done painting my sunflowers, I go back in with my buttercream. This is an open star tip and then I use a 352 leaf tip to do my sunflower and this will just give it a nice 3D effect. And I just repeat this process around my cake. Adding some more leaves and stem onto my cake. And now I'm using a 6B piping tip just to do a border on top of my cake with the same light blue color. And this is what my cake looks like you guys. This is my version of a fall themed sunflower cake. Hopefully you guys liked my video on how I did this tutorial. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!